Hi, it's Timo. Welcome to Norwich City Central. Hello everybody, Lewis, Norwich City Central. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, talking about Norwich City players and whether we should keep them and whether we should or whether we should sell them. Should they stay or should they go? Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. What Norwich City players should you would you want to see stay at Norwich City? And what Norwich City players do you think it is best um, that they now leave Norwich City Football Club? I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section, as I said below. Um, and yeah, the four categories, as you can see on screen, hands off. These are players who I think we should, Norwich City should sell under no circumstances. Um, should keep these are players. I mean, it's self-explanatory. I think the, these are players that Norwich City, they should stay at Norwich City Football Club. Um, could cash in. Now, this category means that, you know, I don't mind whether they stay or go. But perhaps if they go, they could be good for Norwich City to cash in on them. Um, and in the bottom category, sell. Uh, these are players who I think Norwich City should sell. So let's get into it. And yeah, as I said, I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. This is a complete overhaul for Norwich City Football Club. So let's start with Michael McGovern, um, goalkeepers to attackers. Michael McGovern, a great servant for Norwich City Football Club. He's getting on now. And um, Michael McGovern is someone who, look, he's, he's an OK goalkeeper, but he's probably not good enough to be a second choice goalkeeper at Norwich City Football Club. I think Michael McGovern's someone who's going to start doing his goal, uh, his, his coaching badges and you know, Tim Cole did get a really serious injury and I would worry as McGovern as our first choice goalkeeper. I think McGovern's been a great servant at Norwich City Football Club but I think it's time we should sell him. Next up, Tim Krul. I mean, the complete opposite for me. Tim Krul is a hands-off one. I don't think we should sell Tim Krul under any circumstance. He was our player of the season last season. He's a real leader. He's a real character in the dressing room. And Norris City lack leaders, lack character, and possibly lack a bit of experience. Tim Krul gives you that. A fantastic goalkeeper. And what's the point in selling him? We wouldn't get much money in terms of a fee. He's a brilliant goalkeeper. Someone who should stay at Norris City Football Club. Moving into the defenders now. Jamal Lewis. Now, this is a really interesting one. Jamal Lewis had a fantastic championship season. I love watching him bomb down the left and interacting with Ono Hernandez. Um, in the Premier League, he's probably a little bit underwhelming. Didn't probably have the effect he... Maybe we thought he would. Don't get me wrong. He didn't have a bad season, but he didn't. He didn't set the Premier League alight. Alight. Liverpool have been interested in Jamal Lewis, and for me, he's someone who we could cash in on. We've got Sam McCallum coming in now, who we signed for three and a half million. Jamal Lewis has been great for Norwich City Football Club, and I'd be happy to see him stay. But I think it's someone who we could potentially cash in on um, and say thank you to Jamal Lewis and leave with fond memories. Next up, Max Aaron's. He's also been linked with a big money move. Um, for me, Max Aaron's has got a slightly bigger ceiling than Jamal Lewis in terms of his potential. He's English um, and I think he'd probably go for a bit higher transfer fee. For me, I'd like to see Max Aaron's stay. I think we should keep him. Um, and, you know, maybe if we get back to the Premier League, send him on for a bigger transfer fee. Um, so for me, I'd like to see Max Aaron stay just because I feel like if we did lose, if you look at Jamal, if we lose lose Jamal Lewis, Sam McCallum can come in and do a really good job, in my opinion. If we lose Max Aaron's, I wonder about that right back slot because Sam Byram is injury prone. Uh, moving on to Sam Byram now, I think he we should keep him. Um, and he should stay a really good right back. Um, someone who I've really liked is the one kind of weakness is that he is quite injury prone, but he's someone who should stay and someone we should keep. Um, next up is Ben Godfrey. This is another really interesting one. I'm going to put him in the same bracket as Jamal Lewis. Don't get me wrong, Ben Godfrey is a really good player and someone who I'd love to see stay at Norwich City Football Club. But he's equally is someone we could cash in because Ben Godfrey could potentially go for big money. Look at AC Milan, potentially interested for 25, 30 million. And for a centre back, that is such a good deal, in my opinion. Um, I think Norwich City could really, we should really consider cashing in on him and then reinvesting into the squad to make sure we have a good Premier League season, a good championship season, rather. Let's, let's not get carried away with the Premier League. Um, Christoph Zimmerman, another one I think we should keep. Um, as I said, his transfer value is not particularly too high, and he's another leader in the squad and someone who um, did excellent in the championship last season. Grant Hanley, I think we should keep him as well. Really good player, someone who I really like, um, did really well in the Premier League, physical, strong, um, and yeah, club captain. I don't I don't see why we should sell him. Tim Closer, uh, this is an interesting one. Tim Closer's been at Norris City for a few years now. I don't want to see us sell Tim Closer, but he is injury prone, he is on high wages. I'm, I'm not so sure... Um, how long he's going to stay at Norwich City Football Club. I think he's someone who we could cash in on for me. 
Um, you know, Tim Close's best probably best days as a as a footballer at Norwich City are probably behind him, and I think he's someone we could cash in on. Next up, Tom Tribal. Norwich City are planning to offload Tom Tribal. Don't get me wrong, he was great in that championship season, but I do agree now it is the right time to sell and, and Tom Tribal, I wish him well and let's hope he can go on and do good things for a new club. Alex Tetty, someone we should keep. Club legend, um, no way we're selling Alex Tetty. Probably will retire and probably might even get a testimonial as well. A great servant for Norwich City Football Club is Alex Tetty. Kenny McLean, he's someone who we should keep. A really good player, someone who's very versatile. Um, one of Daniel Farker's favourites as well. Don't, be, don't get me wrong, I prefer Mario Rancic to him. I just think he offers a bit more. But Kenny McLean's a really good player and someone we should definitely keep. Lucas Rupp. Um, I'm going to say as well we should keep him. Don't get me wrong, he he wasn't great in the Premier League, but Lucas Rupp's only been at the club for four, uh, for six or seven months now. I don't think Lucas Rupp is going to be a first-team starter in the Championship. I don't think he's good enough, but certainly as a squad player, I think he's someone who should stay at Norwich City Football Club and, and, and someone we should keep. Mo Leitner is another one similar to Tom Tribal. His, his best days are, are over at Norwich City Football Club. Norwich City plan to offload him. Uh, in the summer transfer window, and yeah, it's, it's time to sell Mo Leitner. Next up, Mario Rancic. You know, regular viewers of this channel will know how much I love Mario Rancic. God, he's a fantastic player. Was our second uh, joint top goal scorer. I think he's scored 10, assisted 7 in, 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 in very few games in the Championship. He was a key reason Norris City got promoted. So many late goals, so many winners. Um, you know, early on in the season against the likes of Reading, Wigan, and of course, brilliant performances against Leeds. Um, a truly fantastic player. Um, and his, his goal sealed the title for us as well. He's someone who I, I think hands off. I think Mario Ranchett should stay. We're not going to get a big transfer fee for him. He's someone who should stay 100% and, and is hands off. Similar to him, Emi Buendia. Um, yeah, I, I don't want to see Emi Buendia leave. Don't get me wrong, a big transfer fee could come in for him. But for me, he's a hands-off. He's such a gifted player, a world-class player. Um, and he's someone who I'd love to see stay at Norwich City. And, and I wouldn't really want to sell him under any kind of circumstance. You know, maybe in the Premier League. But just for me, I, I love Emi Buendia too much. And I wouldn't want to see him go for any, you know, any big kind of money. And um, I think he's he's such a gifted footballer. Todd Cantwell, um, I think he's someone we should keep. I like Todd. Um, a fantastic player breakthrough season in the Premier League six goals um, a couple of assists as well I like Todd um, that we could potentially cash in on Todd but I'd like to see him you know go, go again for Norris City in the championship um, Ono Hernandez hands off for me yet again he, he's, sim he's one like maybe Rayo Rancic here if we did sell we wouldn't get a massive transfer fee you know not that with Ben Jamal Max um, Todd we'd all get these big transfer fees with Onel Mario we wouldn't really and Onel was one of our brighter players um, in the Premier League in those kind of last nine games. He's someone who hands off and, and I think who could play a big part to play for Norwich City. Um, I really like Anel. Marco Stupeman was fantastic in the Championship for Norwich City Football Club. Um, second joint top goal scorer. I love Marco Stupeman. Um I don't know whether he's going to stay though. Don't get me wrong, he's a great player, but we signed Kieran Dow. I don't know whether he will stay. Um, I think he's someone who we, we could potentially cash in on. And we could see Marco Stupeman leave Norris City Football Club. But equally, I'd be quite happy to see Marco, Marco stay. It, 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 it could, could really go either way, this one. I, I think we could cash in on him and he could have a new challenge. But I would like to see Marco stay as well. Um, Adam Eder, for me, hands off. I think he's going to be the future of Norris City Football Club. I wouldn't want to see him leave Norwich under any circumstance. As Timu Puki, um, Timu Puki, what an absolute player. Um, of course... Wasn't quite great in the Premier League, but don't get me wrong, Timmy Pukki is the GOAT. He is the GOAT of Norwich City Football Club. 29 championship goals, had a record-breaking season for Norwich City. And 11 Premier League goals in the Premier League is still good as well. Um, he's an absolute monster. And of course, the injury has kind of plagued him in the second half of the Premier League. But in the championship, he gets much worse opportunity. If you give him chances, he will score goals. And I wouldn't want to see Pukki leave under any circumstance. What a player. And finally, Josip Dernic. Um, I think we all know where that's going to go. Josip Dernic came out in an interview and said he wasn't really bothered whether he stays or, or uh, stays at Norwich or goes. Um, that's not the attitude you want. And Josip Dernic, um, you know, thank, thank, thanks for coming to Norwich City Football Club, but we all know that, and he knows as well that um, his future will be better elsewhere. So that is my list. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. A few controversial ones, maybe the likes of Ben and Jamal. These are players who we could potentially cash in on. Um, because obviously their transfer value is really high and we could then reinvest it into the squad. I think what defenders we can get 
you know, although Ben Godfrey's 25, but although Ben Godfrey's a good centre back, we could really, you know, reinvest it and, and get some, you know, maybe even some better centre backs for now. Um, but that's my list. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments section. Subscribe to Norwich City Central if you're new, and I'll see you later.